Hello everybody and welcome to the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Austin and I will be your skipper, comedian, singer, dance instructor, combat instructor, and swimming instructor in case I crash like last time. Now, wave goodbye to the people on the docks. You may never see them again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Off we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go away from here as fast as possible because I hate spiders. I hope it didn't hear me say that. Giant spiders like that one can jump 20 feet, but luckily we're 15 feet away so it'll jump right over us. <laughs> and it looks like we're coming up on Butterfly Lagoon, the world-renowned lagoon filled with giant butterflies these butterflies are the biggest ones in the entire world and they come in so many different colors as well Let's see a pink one a yellow one Ugh, I know it's so beautiful here but we must continue our journey so let's keep going just around the river bend hey I warned you I'm your singer Next up, it looks like we have a lovely boa constrictor on the left. Mm -hmm. Boa constrictors are known for constricting their victims in tight coils and trapping them, kind of like my ex, but we won't get into that. <laughs> Ooh, and my favorite plant of the jungle is over there to the right. His name is Gerald. Everybody say hi, Gerald. Oh, Gerald's so sweet. Next up, we have the elephant bathing pool. How lovely. Don't worry, you guys. You can take as many pictures as you want. As you can see, they all have their trunks on. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all day and all night. No, seriously, I can't leave this boat. Please help me. I'm kidding. I love my job. <laughs> Oh, looks like we've got a rogue elephant. Hey, hey, do not spray. This is a no spray zone. This shirt is fine linen. Linen. No, away from our boat. Okay. Okay, we're good. Well, guys, it's been a very, very tiring trip of traveling so far, so why don't we have a nice night of rest and feasting at the camp up here, and it's been ransacked by gorillas. Again. <sighs> Didn't the SEA organization tell you guys to stay out of company property? Whatever. Oh, cute. Now we're feeding bananas to crocodiles. Could we not? This, this is so unprofessional. I... Those on my boat, please, take my advice and never smile at a crocodile. They're called the crooks of the water for a reason. Okay, maybe I'm a little salty because one of them stole my chicken tender basket once, but, like, that is a very reasonable reason to be upset. Now, previously, we were encountering Indian elephants, but this up here is an African elephant. Isn't she beautiful? She has her own colony behind the trees, so to her, I say, Yas, queen! We are now currently sailing the Nile River. Denial is a river in Egypt, as you know, so if you don't believe me, you can get off my boat and be in denial.
What a lovely assortment of animals we have here thriving in the African savanna. It's the circle of life, and it moves the cell. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have some guests on expeditions in need of help. Um, quick, quick. Grab some life jackets for the boat over there. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. We're not helping that boat. That boat has Ryan Tube Live on it. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Um, sorry, you're on your own. Yeah, we're gonna be moving on. <laughs> Up ahead, we have some hippos, which are some of the most dangerous animals in the whole world. However, don't worry, because they're not dangerous unless they wiggle their ears. And they're wiggling their ears. Okay, so let's get out of here immediately. <laughs> it looks like we're fast approaching the highlight of our trek here on the Jungle Cruise. On behalf of all of us, I am honored to present the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water! Oh my gosh, see that cave up ahead? Is that Ariel's grotto? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. I've always wanted to meet Ariel meet a real mermaid, maybe get to go swimming in the grotto, and of course, flat. Oh. Um. Okay. So, this cave is definitely not Ariel's grotto. Um, guys, I, I know, this looks scary, but let's think on the positive side. I, I, I mean, uh, oh, look over there, a tiger that potentially wants to eat us. Oh, how pleasant. More spiders. Oh, that's that's great. I, we love seeing more sp No, we don't. I'm getting pretty tired of this positivity thing, aren't you guys? I mean, how long does this cave go on for? My gosh. Feels like we've been in here for days. At least we have these cool statues to keep us company. <laughs> I think I'm gonna name that one, uh, Jiminy. Do 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 This cave is really scary. It's scary to the core. I want to get out right now before I end up on the floor of the boat. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you again. I'm here all day, as I said before. <laughs> Oh, it looks like we're out of the cave now, so, I mean, that's good. Oh, and conveniently, it looks like we're approaching the most dangerous part of our journey. Brace yourselves for the return to civilization. Thank you so much for joining me on this three-month-long trip. Oh, time really flies when you're having fun. I'm gonna miss you guys. If you enjoyed this tour, my name is Austin, and if you didn't enjoy this tour... My name is Ryan Tube Live. Now please, watch your step and get out of my boat. Oh, nice. that was so impolite of me. Please, get out of my boat. And you're not even going to say goodbye. After all that we've been through? Rude. Welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Cruise. Yes, that's right, world famous. It's so great for you to join me. I'm Jacob and I'll be your skipper for the duration of our cruise, or as far as we get at least. In the unlikely event that I become your swimming instructor, don't worry, I know exactly what 
to do. Leave you behind and let you shout for help from another boat. Now, before we get to the exciting bit, let me remind you to keep your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the boat for our whole cruise. Those crocs may look friendly, but chomping is their middle name. Now, to your left, you will see a beautiful array of butterflies. Did you know these butterflies have larger wings than me? I don't know what they're called, but I call them big wing since it fits. As we continue forward, I advise you to scooch on towards your nearest responsible adult. I mean responsible, I don't count. Just to our left is a snake who although looks happy, a light snack of child is something he'll never refuse. Now, as we turn the corner, Please do a very nice welcome to our elephant family, Linda, Maddie, Moana and Ellie. Now, if I'm honest, I prefer to call our friend Ellie, Nelly, because just the other day, Nelly the elephant packed a trunk and nearly said goodbye to the jungle cruise. It took four skippers to stop her from running away. Trust me, you do not want to see her when she's angry. One skipper came back so drenched, she had to use three towels to get dry. For the rest of our jungle cruise, elephants, they're pretty nice. There's a couple more you'll meet along the way. Wings, lack them a bit, but we love them just as much. Now, to the right here is Pascal. He splashes about in the water almost as much as the people who thought jumping off the boat was a clever idea. Hmm, I reckon it's not. As we continue on our voyage, Never mind, that's not what I was expecting. Two of our jeeps completely ruined by the monkeys. May I remind you, that is not how you behave in Disneyland Wales, and do not take them as advice. You may well be kicked out for doing something like that. Now, swiftly moving along, to our right, you'll see a camp, which appears to have been destroyed by Disney on Wales' most destructive gorilla, Mason. He's the most infamous gorilla in the park. If we ever see any problems, you can guarantee it's from Mason. Speaking of gorilla trouble, that smell probably came from him too. <laughs> Unlike us humans, gorillas don't have a fear of the crocs that live here at, in the park. And we'll taunt them all day with bananas. If someone did that to me, I'd probably get quite annoyed. So we won't stick around to see what happens. Continuing along our voyage, ensure you take a look at all the beautiful plants. And to our right, Dumbo. No surprise there. Always tries to run and fly. However, he gets to about here, gets tired, and then decides to stay where he is before going back to his family. Now, I don't know about you, but until I see it, I will stick with my view that elephants cannot fly. Now, if Mason and his troublesome antics aren't enough for you, I am proud to introduce to you Mason's army. This babbling bunch of baboons, not really baboons, but baboons work better are nearly always following in Mason's footsteps, causing havoc across the park. Just yesterday, one managed to escape the cruise and nearly ended up coming face to face with Ursula in Berry Harbour. Might just be me, but I reckon that should put him off for a little while. Now, please do not be alarmed by what looks like a standoff of a lion. He's friendly. It's just going to be a Lion King moment, I'm sure. Actually, it might be feeding time. He looks slightly angry. 
I reckon we get out of here just in case. Oh, good grief! I knew they'd take one of our boats capsized, but I didn't realise they meant they were being chased by a rhino. I would have loved to help, but I think we keep it moving. Away from what could happen to us if we stop and try and help. It's not anyone important anyway, just Ryan and his team of cruise explorers. As we continue on through our cruise, I would like you to all meet our hippo friends. They probably won't wave back. They are more likely to be thinking about how you would be good as their next meal. Don't worry though, these hippos are not likely to eat you. They prefer the skippers. Now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. I want to present to you the seventh wonder of the world. Are you ready for this? Are you sure? The backside of water. I know, it's impressive. It's the highlight of everybody's cruise. Now, I need to make sure that you're all being very nice and close together. It's essential for now we are heading into the cave of not so many wonders. As we head through the cave, look out for the tigers which roam the area. To our left is one of them. The quieter we are, the less likely they are to pounce. And the spiders, they're the least of our concerns in this cave. Up ahead is the statue of the great jungle cruise legend, Leroy. And apparently, if you say his name three times in a row, you will be cursed. Ooh. Sounds like a challenge to me. I reckon we say it. Should we try? Leroy? Leroy? Leo, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm not that stupid. Or am I? Anyway, moving on. Do you know that these caves are more than 300 years old and were once home to the Vikings and Romans of Disneyland Wales? Did they exist? I assume so. Because I've seen the skeletons. We had to move them because otherwise we wouldn't be allowed to open the ride. Anyways, looking ahead, there's the light, and it looks like the dock. I'm so glad we've all made it back in one piece so I don't have to fill out any paperwork. I hope you enjoyed your cruise with us at Disneyland Wales, and if you're going to leave some feedback today, well, if you enjoyed yourself, my name's Jacob, but if you didn't, and you thought I was the worst skipper ever, my name's Jack. Now, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day here at Disneyland Wales. Please, do not try to leave the boat until we've come to a complete stop. Otherwise, you'll end up in the water. And you've done so well to not end up in it so far. Anyways, see you next time. I said goodbye. Now get out of my boat. Hello everyone and welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Chris and I will be your skipper for today. So let's get started shall we? There's no turning back now. That's mainly because I only know how to move this boat forward. It is my first time steering it after all. I'm just joking, don't be scared. What you do need to be scared of, however, is that spider on your left. Actually, don't be scared. It just wanted to be on the web.
Next up, we can see some amazingly colorful butterflies. You know, I would not want to have those caterpillars in my garden. And now you'll see just how snake-like I can be. Well, it won't be much more snake-like than the snake on your left, will it? Moving on, we have arrived at the secret elephant bathing pool. A word of warning, you may get wet. They are rather playful, but they don't know if you like water rides or not. Don't scare them though. Before you know it, they might climb up a tree. I do not think anyone wants to see that today. Oh dear, those monkeys have gone bananas. Be sure to watch your valuable items. They tend to steal your heart, but also phones, wallets, and much more than that. Quick word of advice from me, by the way. If you're ever in the jungle by yourself and you have a camp somewhere, do not leave that camp unattended if there's gorillas near, because this will happen. Do you see what I see right in front of you? That's the moment you've been waiting for. You will all have to wait a bit longer to see it though. Sorry. Oh no. One of the elephants got lost. Actually, they might be playing hide and seek. They usually lose pretty quickly though. Despite not having any spots, they're spotted quite easily. Hmm, strange. These animals seem scared of something. It can't possibly be that lion over there, can it? They are always lying about what they're having for dinner. Hey, is that one of our boats? No, you don't need to be scared. It must have been their first time steering that boat. Those explorers will need to extend their trip in the jungle though. Never get into an argument with a rhino. It looks like we've got an audience. One of those hippos is quite close to our boat. 
What a hypocrite. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the ace wonder of the world, the one, the only, the backside of water! If that wasn't worth your money, then I don't know what is. We are now getting near the entrance of the jungle cave. They say that there's a treasure hidden somewhere in it. Don't worry, there's not going to be a drop. Or is there? Actually? On second thought, let's get out of the cave as soon as possible. There's a bit too many animals here for me today. Wait a second, was that the entrance to the hidden treasure right next to the lion statue? Ah, never mind, that's not what we're here for today. You can still get plenty of souvenirs today. And that brings us to the end of our tour through the jungle of Disneyland Wales. I hope that you all had a great time. Please exit at your right hand side or else you'll be taking swimming lessons. Have a magical rest of your day here at Disneyland Wales. See you soon! Hello everyone and welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is JJ and I'll be your yoga instructor, your animal wrangler, your psychologist, and your swimming instructor. Okay, well maybe some of those were alive, but if you don't laugh at my jokes, you may need a swimming instructor. And off we go. Everyone turn around and wave to the folks back at the dock. Yeah, there's about a 99.99 .99 chance you'll never see them again. But who's counting? Now hold on to those hats and glasses, folks, because this here is the wildest boat in the Jungle Cruise. We are beginning our adventure in the Amazon rainforest, where it rains about 365 days out of the year. And from my calculations, that's every single other day. You see this rain shower today, huh? Although we only just got started, there are already so many beautiful rare plants. I guess this is where they got the quote, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy plants. Except I do not want to be the person who has to take care of these plants. We are now moving past the Congo River, so let's see how far we can go. Now what in the Ant-Man Quantumania is going on here? Maybe if we ignore these awfully large butterflies, they'll go away. No way. 
Look at this on your left. It's an absolutely beautiful specimen. Can anyone guess the name of this particular snake? I'll give you a good hint. It starts with P. Gosh, you guys are really terrible at this. It's plastic. Oh no, we made it to the elephant bathing pool. Everyone cover your eyes. We have to make sure all the elephants have their trunks on. Okay, phew, we're clear. Wait, where's Ellie? I haven't seen her since we started that game of hide and seek. Does anyone want to know why the elephant rubbed the jungle cruise? Frankly, I don't know, but I wish somebody would find out. He sunk in five boats in the last week alone. Yeah, it might be a little late to tell you guys that you're all seated in the splash zone. Sorry about that. Oh, not the monkeys again. They always seem to be going bananas. Hey! You! Monkey! Quit monkeying around! Gosh, their parents never seem to have taught them manners. These are much bigger. I take it all back. Don't, please, please don't hurt me. These gorillas are wild. I'm pretty sure we're all uncomfortable by now. Let's just get moving. Hey, you're not supposed to feed the animals in the park. They never listen. Guys, it's Ellie! All these years of hide and seek and I finally won! Okay, okay. Go hide again and I'll look for you when I come back around. Okay, yeah. See you soon! Let's be honest, I won't be able to find that elephant again. Look! We made it to the savannah! It appears that the animals are playing freeze tag. I'm not sure if the drafts understand how to play. Whatever, let's continue on and see what else we can find. Oh, hey guys, I'm back! Sorry for sinking your ship. I mean, the elephant sinking the ship. It totally wasn't me. Just, yeah, we'll ignore that. You know, you know what? I'll come back around in just a little bit. You stay here. You know, trust me, you, you're doing great. Yeah, I don't think they're ever getting out of that situation. Yikes, it must be hippo season again. Okay, everyone stay still, and we should make it out of here just fine. Okay, maybe not the kids. And we finally made it! 
to the wonderful, the magnificent, the spectacular, the one of a kind, the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water. Oh yeah, that you can't find that in Discovery Land. We made it to the cave! While my friend Austin on another boat might think this looks like Ariel's Grotto, I can assure you this looks more like Ursula's if you were to ask me. have a flashlight it's quite dark in here oh no a tiger on our left and a whole bunch of spiders on our right let's not be a part of another indiana jones film and get out of here Now, don't ask any questions about this random statue in some weird cave in the middle of the jungle. I'm just as lost as you are. I see some light up ahead. I was starting to wonder if I took the wrong cave. concludes our journey on the world famous jungle cruise if you enjoyed your entertaining expedition through the jungle i was skipper jj aka the best skipper in the world if you didn't enjoy your journey through the jungle just go and never come back i'm kidding you'll just end up having your next adventure without a boat when we reach the dock please be sure to let your children off first we do not want them any more than you do and watch where you're stepping Now, get off. I'm sorry, where are my manners? Please, get off. Thank you for joining us here at the World Famous Jungle Cruise and enjoy the rest of your day here at Disneyland Wales. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, fellow passengers, and welcome aboard the World Famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Jess, and I'll be your skipper, your lion tamer, your snake charmer. And if you don't laugh at my jokes, then I might as well be your swimming instructor. Nah, just kidding. I can't swim either. Now on to the less important stuff. Remember to keep all arms and legs inside the boat at all times. And by any event of an emergency, send the boat to Jack Jack Talkie 17. I'm pretty sure he can cover it. After all, we're here to have some fun and not get into any danger. Am I right? Moving on. On your left, you will see my good friend, Peter. Wow, I see you finished your web search, Peter. Peter is considered a black widow, but most people just call him a spider. Man, look at these beautiful butterflies. Butterflies like to express their wings in different arrays of colors. They're pretty easy to look at, but pretty hard to catch. That's because they're gigantic. Right 
here is a beautiful boa sitting in a tree. H-I-S-S-I-N-G. Yeah, snakes always like to go to hissy fits. That's because that they're pretty viper active. Look at that. Looks like these elephants are having their annual pool party. And sad that I was not invited to join them in the fun. But if the family is nice enough, they may be able to post for a photo. Because it looks like they have their trunks on today. Looks like the entire family came. I love a family pool party. Do not squirt the boat. Sorry everyone, Stampy here is kind of a prankster. Sometimes she likes to spray boats as they go by. It may seem funny to get sprayed with water, but sometimes it's not. Wow! I couldn't get my Jeep to start this morning, but it looks like those monkeys were able to get it turned over. Pretty impressive. by one of our base camps, and I see that some of my coworkers are maintaining the camp well, but I should give y'all a heads up. If any of you are wearing a yellow shirt, try not to make any noise like a banana, okay? They find that very appealing. right is another member of the elephant family. This is Ruby, and she is an African bull elephant, one of the most intelligent animals in the jungle. And fun fact, Ruby here can do some tricks. Ruby, speak. Good, Ruby. at the African belt, and it looks like everyone is recreating that one scene from that movie. What's it called again? Oh yeah, Zootopia. That's a good movie. Looks like they didn't read the late notice about Rhino. This is one of the reasons you should never get into an argument with a rhino. Rhinos always get straight to the point. And it looks like they got into a little chimp wreck as well. Better be careful next time. Oh no. Looks like we arrived at the hippo pond. One of my friends who happens to be a certain cheese-loving rat once told me that hippos wiggle their ears as a sign of affection. I only see them do it before they charge at us. So let's just keep moving along. Looks like we arrived at the main attraction. On behalf of Disneyland Wales, but mostly me of course, I present to you all the 8th wonder of the world. Wait for it. 
Legendary Disneyland cats are always wandering the park. More of the reason why Disneyland is pest free. Thanks to these feline friends. Let's continue on. She does look hungry. right here was a gift to us by the one and only trader Sam. Sam told us that it will grant us opposite luck, but nothing good has happened so far. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work. Because we were just getting bad luck. Oh, now I get it. passengers. It is time for the scariest part of the ride. The return to where you all came from. So it's quite simple. You just get off the boat and that's it. We love all you all outstanding passengers. Now, be outstanding on the dock. enjoy that. I believe you're better off visiting that other theme park down the street. You know, the one with the global part of it. 